Are you f***ing kidding me? I mean, this is absolute bull. We will show them that honor mm. and profit are not at odds. If you say so. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Dota I Underlords. To make it last. So, today we're gonna once again be playing some ranked standard. So, last week there has been an update, a, a relatively small balance update, that nevertheless brought in some important changes. Namely, it had it had reworked Jal. So now. Surprisingly not his ultimates, but his basic abil abilities are quite different. Uh, before, you know, uh, what was happening was uh, his uh, basic abilities in the healing tank style uh, would give him uh, damage reflection, I think, and uh, heal all the... Uh, all the allies around him and himself uh, actively Hot. and now instead it basically only heals allies around him and only for the damage he takes so he doesn't really heal himself all that much and it only lasts five seconds it needs to be activated and then it won't be active again with the uh, with aggressive tank Kind of the same thing happened with the aggressive tank. The uh, kind of the same thing happened, except uh, now the ability is called Roundhouse, and what he does with it is uh, drink from his cup and then get a whole bunch of attack speed. Like he, I think he gets like two hundred at attack speed, and at the same time, uh, like fifty percent life steal. So. For a few seconds, he becomes really hard to kill. So apparently, upon initial rework, I actually didn't get to play when that was happened. When that happened, but after that in initial rework, apparently he became completely unkillable. So they had to nerf him almost immediately, like as a hotfix. No, oh, someone really likes some papers, huh? I can do the two. Two can play the game. So for now, it looks like we aren't really getting all that many pairs or upgrades. My suggestion here would be to sell all of this stuff here, leaving only a pair. And then also buy this. Maybe... I don't know what... I think I'm actually gonna buy everything here. It's not like it makes it that big of a difference. Okay, what? really is gonna make a difference is the fact that first of all my my team can't focus anything at all and second that the Queen of Pain couldn't even use her ability at all I sure do say at all a lot don't I? at all a lot sounds really nice doesn't it? okay well at least we're, yeah. we're getting some interest already oh that's a scrappy pack if I ever seen one. <laughs> How many people are going scrappies? Maybe we can do that too, you know? Scrappies have received some moderate nerfs in the past. But I think they are still very much... Oh, it's not gonna be enough, is it? Yeah, no. Okay. I'll just buy them scrappies. Reroll. And get more uh, bears, in this case. Yeah, so... Once again, we lose, but it's fine, because we do get more rerolls and more other cool stuff. It's unfortunate we didn't build up any sort of uh, win streak, but now with so many scrappies and so little contest on them, I think we might stand a reasonable chance of succeeding. Okay, well, there's one guy here who's also going scrappies, but would you look at that? We are finding some decent upgrades here, so... Shall we play those instead? I think we shall. Uh... Oh no. That's wrong. Okay, oh, there's a two-star plus seeker too. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, so... I'm not sure I'm staying in those assassins. 
thinking about dumping them soon. I really don't like playing assassins, for starters. And second of all, oh my god, this assassin was deafening in my ears just now. Yeah, anyway, I don't like assassins that much. But also, I think Scrappies are much more reliable, I'd say. Especially when we are getting some upgrades already. There's a Stonehall Cloak, or Staff Arcane Boots. I think Stonehall Cloak is a great item for the early game. And especially considering we've already got a two-star Timber Saw, who should get a lot of kills. And thus, health from this cloak. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely getting out of Queen of Pain now. Like so. We've got 20 gold, so not in a perfect spot by any means. As you can see right now, we are more towards the bottom as far as, uh, you know, upgrades are concerned. Okay, and we once again go up against an open porter. Ah, yes, it was very hot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know. I know it was very hot. I can probably sell the next assassin at this point because if I am go to go insects, the one I want, the ones I want are Broodmother and Weaver. Maybe replace Broodmother with Sand King later, but Nyx Assassin is definitely not the top priority right now. I was gonna ask if we are, in fact, leveling up to f level 4 here, but no, not yet. This is going to happen next round. And for now, I can just chill with my 30 gold. <sighs> and enjoy some more pairs. Oh, well this is a very strong team. And here I've got basically no chance. And most unfortunately, I am going to feed some dual damage to the enemy's leading commander. Or not. Uh, well, it's not entirely clear. Oh, we did manage to kill the ogre. That was fantastic, but yeah, there's no way a one-star sniper can stand up to those guys. Nope. There he goes. Yeah. It's a shame. It was a very close duel. I almost thought our plot could win that, but... It's not like it really matters, you know, it's just plus 5 damage. It's just unfortunate that happened. But well, that's fine. It's not that big, that big of a deal. Okay, someone is on a win streak. Let's give him a well-deserved hot here. And yeah, max interest reached. Hmm, another Broodmother. Uh, well, let's buy it. Reroll. So there's Weaver. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play Weaver here. So now we've got four Scrappies online. And next round... One, two, three. Next round we could either have Deadite or Insects. And also our Weaver is glitched. <laughs> Not sure what's happening to him, but I think he just got elevated. Okay, so that's an interesting lineup you got there. Only Clockwork. Only Cluck and Sniper. The Cluck is two-star. Uh, okay, that was the worst possible targeting of Assassinate when he was already about to die. Uh, oh. And because of that bad targeting, the opposing sniper, uh, the opposing taker managed to kill two of our pieces, so yeah. It's a very interesting question. Should we play insects or dead eyes now? And I think the answer is insects, because our sniper isn't that strong yet. Yeah, I think the talisman still stays on the clock, because Timbersar has the most benefits from the Stonehall Cloak. I mean, by this point, Sniper probably has more. Okay, well, very good. The enemy's Nyx Assassin actually hit uh, the Broodmother with a Vendetta. Instead of, um, you should have used your Assassinate before, or whatever. It's not a big deal. Kill the Nyx Assassin. Our team is clearly stronger here. So we are going to clean up. That is another Scrappy contestant, by the way. So we've got three Scrappies in this game so far. Which, you know, being contested so heavily in many other builds, that might have been problematic, but for Scrappies... Hmm, healing support... Or support damage. Hmm... This is a very interesting decision, and even an aggressive tank would work, honestly. I think I'm gonna go healing support. I really like uh, healing support because of how, you know, the golem drop really messes up with the opposing team. Uh, because it drops on the back line, you know, could hit something squishy, like a sniper. You see, most people are picking Hopkin or Joel. But for all we know, that might have been just because they got uh, the damage in Essex instead of healing in Essex. So yeah, one, two, three, four. And next round, 
we uh, well, we have leveled up to 10, to 6, sorry. So next round, we're putting in uh, Blood Seeker, for sure. Yeah, unfortunately, our the opposing team has a 2-star Lone Druid, which pretty much means we have a guaranteed loss on our hands here. But these tower insects are doing a lot of work. Yeah, so this bear... Oh! My sniper was managed to snipe the bear, and now... Oh my god, we actually won that! <laughs> yeah, I did not believe that was possible, because, you know, the enemy team had a 2-star Lone Druid. At least I, I think that was 2-star. Okay, definitely Hand of Midas here. Definitely giving it to Sniper, because, you know, Sniper can get guaranteed kills with that assassinate of his, as long as he survives. There aren't any assassins in this game. Assassin players. There's just some Nyx assassin for a few players. That's about it, so... Yeah, everyone pretty much levels up to 6, except, like, those two guys here. Not sure what they're doing, but I guess they know what... They know what? Uh, they know better. Oh my god. That root mother voice line sounded really weird. Anyway, so yeah. Our Bloodseeker is gonna start working on this enemy sniper here. Oh, and he actually managed to kill the sniper. Impressive, Bloodseeker. Uh, I think, yeah, unfortunately our sniper here is gonna... Oh! Next assassin didn't block the assassinate. The uh, sniper's assassinate, so he's actually gonna die. The golem is doing a lot of work here. So, as you can see right now, this opponent also has insects, which causes our Nessex to die. But at the same time, we are cleaning them up. We are slightly stronger for the moment. In fact, we somehow managed to get uh, first place right now. Very interesting indeed. I'm hoping to receive some upgrades sooner than later. But I guess it's not happening so far. So I don't think there is a reason to level up to... Uh, uh, what is it? 7 here. Because I am pretty sure... We can't put anything in that would guarantee us a win, so why bother? There's another Jolt player. Also has insects. Also, Nyx has an attacking hour in Essex. Very unfortunate. Uh, even more unfortunate is that... Oh, okay, well... Bloodseeker managed to survive for the moment, but not for very long. Our Timbersaw is dead. Which means we are probably going to lose this, because Timbersaw is our main source of both tank and DPS, as far as I remember. Oh, well, yeah. This assassinate being cancelled like that. We are definitely gonna lose. That's fine. I wasn't hoping to win either way. I think we just lacked the upgrades to actually pull out a win. So, it's no problem. And besides, this guy is uh, already at 52 health. So, with all those free rerolls and a losing streak, and the net worth advantage, it would be really weird if that guy didn't manage to beat us there. I think I'm buying Wish Doctor here just in case. Because we could use him to play uh, two Warlocks. Time to shore things up. There's Drow Ranger. who could work giving us a Hunter bonus. And there's Shadow Fiend who could work as well for the purpose of... Yeah, I think you know what? I think Shadow Fiend works really well with an Essex because she already summons a Demonic Companion. And then after that you got Shadow Fiend using his uh, Requiem. Oh well, my Bloodseeker is insta gift. That is very unfortunate when it happens. Our Hoggin, uh, our, I mean, we were dying on the backline to the enemy's Hoggin. Uh, yeah. It looks like we're definitely losing this round. But our Sniper managed to grab some kills in the process. So that's fine. If there is Weaver, there is Shadow Fiend as well. We might want to. Okay, first of all, we might want to move up slightly here. So that our Bloodseeker doesn't get eaten alive instantly. Kind of like that. Do not lose again. And then we'll probably... Well, we'll see where we go. We could go four Warlocks here. I haven't done Scrappy with four Warlocks all that much. I'm not exactly sure how viable it is. Oh, my Timbersaw got dueled. Yeah, so unfortunately here my Timbersaw is taking uh, too much damage almost every fight. But he can survive long enough to get more kills with his uh, stone off cloak. So I might actually want to move this cloak to... Okay, snipe the bear. That, that was a very nice snipe. Uh, yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, the enemy Jol is way too strong for us. But at least we might manage to clean up that lone druid in the back. Yep, we did. Nope. Oh. Oh, we... <laughs> Alright. Alright, sure. Hmm. Insects pulling quite a lot of weight here. Also, surprisingly... Uh, oh. Well, there's Shadow Fiend. 
there's another warlock. So, uh, it seems like we might be going for some kind of a hybrid build here with uh, insects and warlocks and scrappies. So that's very interesting. Uh, I don't think this boss seeker is staying for the late game because he isn't. Doesn't look like he isn't upgrading to three stars. Also, the opposing Doom somehow managed to kill the Bloodseeker, despite being targeted by the Jedi. Uh, okay, got the tree protector. So yeah, we are definitely losing this round. We got super unlucky with a Doom, but at the very least, we do manage to clean up some stuff. And that's the power of Jedi for you. Also, notice how most of this lobby is actually lords. There are yeah, there are <laughs> five uh, lords. And three big boss fours. So that's the state of the game right now. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah, this is just what happens. So we need to level up to eight sooner than later. Mm, Blade Mail Silver Edge, Octarine Essence. Very interesting items indeed. I think I'm gonna go Silver Edge here. I think I kind of lack damage items for now. And these guys might help. Okay, so I'm not interested in more timber saws, considering mine is already two stars. I don't think Drow ever makes it in, so I'll just probably dump her. And I think I might actually stay at four Scrappies, just so I can get four Warlocks online. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, yeah. We are going to waste a lot of gold here. Aha, <laughs> Shadowfiend took sweet, sweet, sweet time to cast. Oh my god, look at this Bloodseeker popping off though. Boom. Boom, yeah. As long as Bloodseeker doesn't get insta he then becomes completely unstoppable, as you can see right now. Well, in this case, he didn't get any kills at all, but he's third on damage. Right behind Sniper and everyone else, so... Yeah, there goes Alchemist, who I definitely want. It doesn't look like anyone in this game is going Assassin, so Warlocks should have a pretty good time here, I'd say. But we do need to level up to 9 to fit everything in, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, Bounty Hunter is never happening. That's completely useless. Uh, Broodmother. Well, I guess if we are going uh, for uh, for Warlocks, Broodmother should definitely stay. But yeah, so we're not buying this Alchemist because we want to for the interest to lock in first. Uh, at 30 gold, so we get maximum interest. Now we can buy the Alchemist. Because that won't affect our interest anymore. Okay, so there's four brutes. Uh, and yeah, our Bloodseeker gets this gift once again. That's one of the main problems with Bloodseeker. Just that he doesn't really... Uh, yeah. How well the Bloodseeker survives depends on uh, how many... Okay. Where we'll kill... Yeah. Once again, we are clearly... Oh. Yeah, we are clearly going to lose here. But at the very least, we did manage to clean almost everything up. It's unfortunate that we've fed yet another duo to the Legion Commander, who has 50 damage already. And a lot of alliances to boot, but we do upgrade a 2-star Brute Mother here. Alright, so there's Weaver. Uh, I mean Sand King. And yeah, you know what? I'm actually dumping the Weaver and playing Sand King instead. And uh, yeah, pressing the level up button once. So, what this allows us to do is still keep four Scrappies, while at the same time having four Warlocks and a powerful asset in the form of Sand King. Yeah, so the last thing I'm hoping to deploy is of course, oh no, well, if our Sand King gets dueled, it doesn't really matter what we do, he's going to die either way, but well, oh no, oh come on, yeah, Sniper just did something really horrible, and snipe something that assassinated, I mean something that was already dead, that is like the worst case scenario, always. But once again, we do manage to clean up most of the enemy team. We're losing, but these losses uh, don't matter too much so far, because we've got a lot of health left over. So all they do is just give us free rerolls. Do I have a losing streak by any chance? No, we don't. That's fine. Alright, so there's Tinker, but uh, I'd say it's too late for Tinker by now. I think Clockwork, when upgraded to 2 stars, has more health, so I'd rather use that. Yeah, so for now, I'm just going to keep leveling up. If I start losing too badly, I'm going to uh, level up to 9 immediately. 
<laughs> and some scary stuff you're saying. Okay, so there's four brutes with four brownies, I think. Alright, our Bloodseeker is surviving. Our Bloodseeker is surviving really hard here. Well, oh. Okay, this sniper is working against me, I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure this sniper has been bribed by the enemy team by this point because this is horrible. He just keeps uh, assassinating things that are already dead. This is not how you play sniper. I mean, maybe it is in Dota 2, but yeah, not here. Again, small loss. So I don't think we're in a hurry to level up. I think we got losing. Yep, <laughs> we've got losing streak from that. Perfect. Losing streak and still at second place. Nice. This is how aggressive this Lord lobby is, you know? Everyone just is completely at each other's throats. Hello there. So we are just... Uh, oh, triple Conca though. <laughs> uh, I mean, Conca is great, but it's like he doesn't fit into our team at all. Like... Maybe if I was playing, you know, a Legion Commander build, I would have done this, but <laughs> not like this. Okay, you know what? One, two, three. I think since I'm close enough uh, to level nine, I will complete it here. Oh no. Okay, the Bloodseeker. The Bloodseeker actually survived the first one, but yeah, it wasn't enough. Okay, very nice stun by the. Uh, whatever that was. Uh, yeah, so what, what I just said about, uh, you know, assassinating targets that are about to die. I think that's irrelevant when you're trying to assassinate Tree and Protector, because that guy's completely unkillable. Alright, so this guy is obviously very close to death, so you went all in. And yeah, like I predicted, we are starting to lose a lot more health here. So we have to consolidate our lineup, and hopefully get finally get all, all of the upgrades we need. If I find a uh, Gyrocopter, I'll re remove the Bloodseeker immediately. Because I'm pretty sure Gyrocopter will, ju will just accomplish more. So yeah, I guess our plan for today is... Hmm. I do not like this healing ward. So I think I'm gonna go Octarine Essence instead and put it on something like Shadow Fiend. Because I do believe if Shadow Fiend gets to ult multiple times during the fight. Okay, so yeah, I'll reroll a bit here. As you can see right now, finding some upgrades. Not that many though. Okay, so there is Tinker. I'll play this Tinker. Temporarily. I don't think he's staying around for long. But first, if I want to advance to the to the next level, maybe, I should re-roll and find all the upgrades I need. Okay, this sending is, is gonna get taunted. That's not pretty, but oh, I still managed to borrow. That's nice. Our brute mother died instantly, which is not very nice. Okay, yeah, and our Our front line seems to be coming apart here. Uh Hopkin does a lot of damage. Okay, Juggernaut got assassinated. Someone got eliminated. In fact, I think, yeah, it was the person we just lost to. They got eliminated. Managed to win against that guy. Another scrappy player just get, got blasted to kind Kingdom Come. Lost like 10 health. Well, that was... That's less than we lost the last round, but... Anyway, you, you catch my drift. Okay, so I would appreciate if we finally started finding some... Okay, well, there's Void Spirit. That's my uh, fourth Warlock. For now, I guess. Another Void Spirit. Alright, sure. Uh, and that's it. Found a 2-star Sand King. Still can't, up can't upgrade the clock, though. Are there any champion players left? I think... Oh, this guy has Legion Commander on the right side. So my Void Spirit should at least get his ability off. Which is great. This looks like three Warlocks, interestingly enough. Okay, got the Lycan. Okay. Oh, Bloodseeker is popping off. Uh-huh. Very nice. Look at this Bloodseeker doing work, wow. I mean, he isn't doing that much damage, but I just love watching him. I think it's really entertaining, and we eliminate this guy, by the way. Yeah, 20 health. Easy peasy. Uh, so I like, I really enjoy watching Bloodseeker just go to town like that, even though, as you can clearly see, he <laughs> doesn't do the most damage. It's still really entertaining. Okay, so there, are there any better targets for our, uh, whatchamacallit? I was gonna say other... Any better targets for Stonehall Cloak, but there clearly aren't. Medusa is not what we need, although I could replace Bloodseeker, but nah. Huh. Ah. Okay, so we can't find anything for the moment. Well, that's not very nice. Uh, and someone already still has 41 gold. And it's a scrappy player. So that's highly unfortunate. I have no idea how we might match up against other scrappy players. I <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so my Bloodseeker got doomed. 
but he's still doing something. Oh, well, not anymore. Uh, okay. The enemy's Legion commander is still completely blasting through our whole light up here. Okay, nice shot of you, Oh, oh, are we? Oh, we're doing this. Very nice. That's the number one player, isn't it? Yep. All right, so we just dealt a major blow to the first place player, who is actually out of gold as well. Huh. Did they just level up to 10, or... No. That's interesting. Okay, there's Disruptor, so... I knew a thing or two about chickens. And there's Gyro. Okay, yeah. So this is our setup. I'm not entirely sure if we actually need to... Okay, yeah, and the Talisman should go to the Alchemist because he's more important than the Splog right now. Alright, yeah, so this is the opposing light up here. With a two-star Bloodseeker still. Okay, well, my Gyro got instigated here, somehow. Not sure what happened there. But it looks like we are stronger for the moment. The bad part is, of course, uh, the fact that... Uh, yeah, the bad part, of course, is the fact that uh, this guy still has 34 gold. No one is getting eliminated, and we are completely out of gold. <laughs> but we do have a lot of uh, network, seemingly. The two lose streak players of this game, I don't remember who was the second one, but uh, one of them was this guy, uh, Lord72, and they're doing pretty well for themselves, way ahead of us in the net worth. So that should tell you that, you know, loose streak still works. <laughs> what did you say? I couldn't catch- oh my god, that's a 3-star laundry. Well, you know, at least it's not a 3-star legion commander, so that's fine. Okay, so we are surviving for the moment here. Okay, Snipe the opposing terribly. Oh my god! This Lycan is completely destroying our- uh, I mean, he was completely destroying our, uh, an Essex. Okay. Now what? Okay, that was BS. My Shadow Fiend got interrupted like 3 million times. Well, at the very least, this was a close loss. Which means, you know, this guy isn't particularly strong. And we if, we, if we get slightly luck here, like, you know, if we had a 2-star Clockwork, for example, uh, we could have maybe won that. So Black King Bar or Butterfly. I think in this case I have to choose Butterfly. Put it on, like, Sand King, maybe. I know Sand King might not be the best target for a hybrid DPS item like that, but, you know, he has 200, uh, 2,000 health. And the Butterfly should keep him alive for a lot longer. Which is definitely something I'm interested in. You could also criticize my choice of still keeping the Octarine on the Shadow Fiend. Maybe instead it would uh, better be suited to someone like Disruptor. But, you know... I think we're still good. So, if we do manage to level up to 10 here, the last thing we're putting in is definitely going to be... Uh, definitely going to be another Hunter. Or, uh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? I was gonna say, I said Hunter, because, uh, you know, because I, I'm used to playing Scrappies with Weaver. But we don't actually have Weaver here, so we are going to take a lot of damage here, which was completely unwarranted, because most of the enemy team should have been dead by that point. They all, like, barely survived. Okay, let's see who wins among these guys. <coughs> oh, it's super close. Yeah, so... They aren't going to take uh, much damage from it at all, unfortunately. But it looks like the brawny guy wins here. And we were playing against a new first place player who is going brawny brutes. So two brawny brute players in this lobby, and as you can see, it is working for them quite well. So we can't actually level up to 10 here, we don't have enough time. So I suggest we do this instead, and yeah, in this case, the Octarine definitely goes to the Disruptor. Really wish I found a Clockwork, <laughs> you know, would have been nice. But you know, what can you do? So this is a brawny... Oh, this player also has Legion Commander, it's not just Brutes. Okay, my Brute Mother actually didn't use her ability at all, so that was nice. Uh-huh. Well, we are killing some things here. <clears throat> so yeah, at least, at least we shouldn't get eliminated here, but it's getting awfully close. Okay, yeah, they aren't actually... Huh, alright, ah, 
<laughs> like I said, we aren't getting eliminated. Nothing to worry about. But unfortunately for us, no one else is getting eliminated either. So this is proving to come down to the wire. But I'm not sure. Uh, you know, you can criticize my choice of spending all the gold like that when I was just about to level up. Or have enough gold to level up, excuse me. Okay, can you please give me a, a two-star clock? No! Uh, it's not that hard. Okay. Very nice! Upgraded. With the last piece of gold, literal last piece of gold that we had, we finally managed to do it. <sighs> I wish most of those disruptors were gyrocopters, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, very nice. Oh, well, I don't know why, but uh, the opposing sniper seems to have to be activating his assassinate instantly. So that's not very good. Alright, our sniper still keeps sniping though. Unfortunately, in case of the enemy team, both of their... Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not true. I was gonna say both of their uh, dead eyes are still alive. That's not actually true though. So can we kill this Lycan? Oh, yes we can, nice. Nice. So can we... Can this guy do it and finally eliminate someone? No, he can't. Four. <laughs> ah, this is hysterical. So yeah, it's super coming down to the wire now. Actually, you know what? I think our positioning is kind of inappropriate. Because we... Mm, let me see the other players. Yeah, I think our positioning is kind of inappropriate here. Because we are, in fact... Uh, you know, we don't have a Bloodseeker anymore. We don't have... We don't have to tank at the front line like that. Okay, so we are fighting a ghost. Oh my god, and they have a two-star Medusa. And a Deadeye bonus, so our Cypher gets insta-gib. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. But our... A lot of our guys just got insta-gib. Hopefully at least the enemy Sniper can die. Okay, there we go. So the enemy Sniper is dead. Our Warlocks are still healing. Unfortunately, the enemy Sand King is also full health. Uh, well... This is getting awfully close up here, uh, but I think with our healing, yep, yep, nice. With our healing, we're actually fine, and this player got eliminated too. Woo! Okay, one of these guys is bound to get eliminated, right? Like, there's no way. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So our final contestants here are four brownies, four brutes with blood bounds. Uh, and Legion Commander who isn't actually on the board. Oh god. <laughs> okay, well, we definitely lose to this guy. Uh, yeah, so four Bruce, four Bloodbounds. Uh, four Bruce, four Brownies with Bloodbounds and Champions. Here we have got uh, six Scrappies with Hunter Dead Eyes. And here we've got four Scrappies, four Warlocks, and Dead Eyes. I would not say that. Oh god, especially against another player who is running ex the exact same thing. Yeah, I don't know why, but the, <laughs> the, the the opposing sniper of this player always assassinates my gyrocopter immediately. Uh, okay, well that's nice. What isn't nice, however, is that the enemy sniper is still allowed to snipe all this time, so yeah, we've lost this. Oh well, it was a very close game. And I think if we get a little luckier, we could have won that. But yeah, not against that player. Definitely not. Yeah, I know I should be proud. This was a really close game. And oh my god, it just crashed. Okay, <laughs> well, I guess we're inspecting that. So yeah, but yeah, still very intense game, very close. And I'm glad I was able to record that. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoy what you're seeing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. So, goodbye, and take care, everybody.